Hello, today we're going to learn how to uh, model addition using a place value chart with the help of some of Mrs. McCoy's and Mrs. Fehrenbach's second graders. A uh, place value chart is just a, a way to kind of draw out the picture of addition. So um, in second grade, we're working with hundreds, tens, and ones, so they make up the place value chart. Here, um, the place value discs are represented with their actual value. We're going to see some other ways to do it. Um, so as a part of our summer challenge, we want kids to go out and have fun, be creative when they do math, use some sidewalk chalk. As you can see in this chart, um, H represents hundreds, T represents tens, and Z O represents ones. And this student drew uh, two dots under the hundreds to represent 200, three dots under the tens to represent 30, and five dots on the ones to represent five. This student then added below it eight tens to represent 80 and one one to represent one. So we have all the parts um, of 235 plus 81. Well, now what we're going to do is add them up. Uh, since I have five ones and one one, I have six ones. Now this is the part where it gets tricky because when I count the number of tens, I see that I have 11 tens. Well, there's no such thing as 11 tens, so what I need to do is to bundle these 10 tens and move them over as one 100. That leaves one 10 in the tens place and three hundreds in the hundreds place. So 235 plus 81 is 316. Similarly, um, we, can, we can look at this process on paper. Uh, this is 347 plus 72. The first thing I set up is my HTO for hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay? This student does an excellent job of drawing out their hundreds, tens, and ones. And really the key is when you're drawing ones, you want to group them in fives because fives and tens become an easy way to add and bundle things. Now the tricky part about this particular problem is that, um, just like in our previous problem, I have more tens than I need. Okay, I end up having 11 tens. So um, Mrs. McCoy and Mrs. Fehrenbach has instructed them to bundle the 10 together, draw an arrow showing where those 10 tens are going as 100, and crossing them off. Here we can cruise through some other students' work. Tatiana does a great job of illustrating that carrying the one. Now you're not carrying it, you're really just bundling it and making a fair trade. All I'm doing is trading 10 $10 bills for one $100 bill. She does an excellent job of showing why the algorithm works with the place value chart. Here's some other students' work. Again, I love how they're grouping the ones in groups of five. Just very well done. And now we're going to take the time to have some of Mrs. McCoy's second graders explain to you how they did their problem. So today we're going to model and solve 347 plus 72. And we're going to have Harrison do that for us. So Harrison, can you explain, where do you see the 372 in your picture? Um, at the top. Okay, so those are 300s. Good. Can you point to the tens? So those would be our seven ten. I'm sorry, our four tens. Can you point to the ones? And those are our seven ones. Why'd you draw your seven ones like that? Because it helps you um, to count them better and it makes them more organized and better to see. So how did you organize them? What did you count by? I count by um, five. So Great. I, I would do five and then I would, after five I would put um, the numbers on on the bottom. Great job. So five and two made seven. Great. Uh, where's the 72 in your picture? At the bottom. Okay, great. And so when you added those together, how many ones did you get? <coughs> so let's go to the ones column. So you had seven ones and two ones. How many ones did you get? Um, nine. Nine ones. Great. Now I see you got a big circle with an X in your tens place. Why did you do that? What did you circle first? I circled the tens because... How many tens did you circle? Ten. Okay. Because um, the tens can only travel um, in travel in tens. Great. So what did ten tens make? Um, 
hundred. So ten tens made another hundred. How'd you show that in your picture? You want to slide your picture back over a little bit? Great. How'd you show that in your picture? That ten tens make one hundred. Can you point to it? Um, I, I, um, circled the ten and then made an arrow and made a new dot and crossed out it out. So how many so tens were left over, Harrison? Um. One. Just one ten, because you had eleven tens, so you sent ten of them over to the hundreds. How many hundreds did you end up with? Four. Thank you, Harrison.